Let's review. The last time we were together, we learned some expressions and questions. What's the question you would use to ask for this person's name? What is your name or what's your name? Now, how would you tell this person your name? My name is, and then you say your name. Great. Tell me three different ways people say hi. Hello, hey, what's up? Remember, what's up is informal. Imagine now that you meet a friend for coffee. Your friend brings another friend who you do not know. Ask your friend about who this person is. What question will you ask? Great! Who is this? Or, who's this? They both mean the same thing. The last time we were together, we learned how to introduce ourselves and others. This lesson will learn about places and pets. Here are a few sentence starters we'll use. Now, pay attention to this very special word. It's an article. Articles come before a noun. A noun is a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. In the English language, there are three articles, a, an, and the. We can divide these articles into two categories, definite and indefinite. The belongs to the definite category. A and an belong to the indefinite category. Whenever we refer to a specific or particular thing, we use the article the. Whenever we are talking about a general thing, we use the articles a or an. I'll show you an example. We use the definite article, the, to refer to a specific or a particular thing. We use the indefinite articles, a or an, to refer to a general thing. Let's say I have some teddy bears and you would like one, but you don't really care which one you get. We would use the indefinite article, a teddy bear. Let's say I have some more teddy bears. This time, you would like a very specific teddy bear. Then, we would use the definite article, the. Whenever you have a word that begins with a vowel and you are deciding whether to use a or an, use an. For example, we would say an apple. Apple begins with a vowel. We use an before a vowel. The vowels are a, e, i, o, and u. Let's practice some more. Apple. Well, we see it begins with a vowel, the letter A, so we would say an. What would you use for teddy bear? A. Good job. How about table? A. How about a car? A. How about elephant? Oh, does it begin with a vowel? Yes, the letter E. We would use an. How about owl? Does it begin with a vowel? Yes, the letter O. We would use an. How about umbrella? Does it begin with a vowel? Yes, the letter U. We would use an. That was a lot. 
Let's review what we've learned. An article comes before a noun. A noun is a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. The indefinite article, a or an, refer to a general thing. The definite article, the, refers to a specific or a particular thing. Let's just focus on indefinite articles. Would you use a or an? We use a. How about now? We use an whenever you have a word that begins with a vowel. Now let's talk about places. Listen carefully. The museum. The pet shop. The restaurant. The gas station. The hospital. The post office. The bank. The grocery store. The police station. The library. The bus stop. The park. Listen and repeat. The museum. The pet shop. The restaurant. The gas station. The hospital. The post office. The bank. The grocery store. The police station. The library. The bus stop. The park. Try it on your own. Great, let's look at questions. What, who, where, when, how, why. Don't forget the question mark at the end. Let's use the question stem where. Here's a good question, where are you? We'll also use the article the. Where are you? I am at the museum. 
Where are you? I am at the train station. Where are you? I am at the bus stop. Where are you? I am at the pet shop. Where are you? I am at the hospital. Where are you? I am at the restaurant. Where are you? I am at the police station. Where are you? I am at the library. Where are you? I am at the post office. Where are you? I am at the grocery store. Where are you? I am at the bank. Where are you? I am at the park. Great job. Now let's put it all together. Try it on your own. Ask the question, respond to the question. Now, let's talk about pets. First, let's go to the pet shop. All right, we're going to review some vocabulary words. Remember, we talked about articles. We're going to be using A. Listen to these vocabulary words. A cat. A dog. A turtle, a parrot, a fish. Listen and repeat. A cat, A dog. A 
a turtle. A parrot. A fish. Now, try it on your own. Great, now let's give these pets some names so that we can introduce them properly. Snuffles, Harley, Leo, Ollie, Bilo. Now that we know the names of these pets, let's make a sentence. Listen. This is Snuffles. This is Harley. This is Ollie. This is Leo. This is Bilo. Your turn. Great job. Now, let's look at another question. I will ask you about these pets. I will pretend I am visiting you at home. You're feeding your pet. We'll use the question stem, who? I'll ask, who's this? And you'll tell me the pet's name. Who's this? This is Snuffles. Who's this? This is Harley. Try the rest on your own. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Excellent. It's time for another question. This time, we will use the question stem, what? What's your pet's name? We'll change it just a little bit. We'll insert the animal in the question stem. What's your cat's name? Ask for this pet's name. What's your cat's name? Good, how about this pet? What's your dog's name? Ask for this pet's name. 
What's your turtle's name? Great. And this one? What's your parrot's name? You got it. Ask for this pet's name. Excellent. Great job. To answer this question, you can just respond with the cat's name or the sentence structure, my cat's name is, and then say your pet's name. For example, what's your cat's name? You could say Snuffles or someone asks, what's your cat's name? You can say my cat's name is Snuffles. Now it's your turn. Ask for the pet's name, then answer the question two different ways. What's your cat's name? Snuffles. My cat's name is Snuffles. Or this is Snuffles. Great job. Try these on your own.
Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.